What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Shane and welcome to another episode here on 5 Star Cars. The car discussion channel here on YouTube where I just give my thoughts and opinions about what's going on. Basically covering some of your biggest car YouTubers and even small channels as well. On today's episode we're going to be covering Tavarish. Uh, we're going to be covering a few others as well. Um, basically... Uh, TJ Hunt or DBLA also and one or two in there as well. Uh, if you're new to the channel guys, please do check out my other videos. Uh, we basically just discuss in the comments below uh, what I cover and what your thoughts and opinions are there. And I might even bring up your comments in the videos as well. Uh, just the last comment that was made in the last video was from West Coast Turbos. Basically said that we need a 2021 biggest auto YouTube driveway queen award. I'm saying Stradman or TJ Hunt. <laughs> Basically, you know, he's just saying that, you know, they pristine their cars. I'm presuming he'll probably correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. But, um, yeah, I did reply saying there's a lot of people that could probably take that title also. So, yeah, guys, if you want me to read out your comments, you know, do comment below. Do smash the like button and the subscribe button because uh, every like button would probably help you win the lotto. I doubt that's going to happen, but fuck it, you might as well just hit the like button anyway. So let's jump into today's video. We're going to kick it off basically with Tavarish. So Tavarish, his latest video, um, he has gone away and done two things. He is after starting a rebuild on a Ferrari F430, which I'm very, very intrigued about because we all know, I'm just glad he's back posting a bit more regularly. I hate when he fucks off with these big massive links where you don't see videos for two or three weeks because I love his rebuilds. So he's done the um, the F430, the front end is smashed in, uh, he's basically cutting it and getting a new front end on it. If it's, like, if we go by his past builds, um, you know, it, this is going to be epic. I hope he does a really good interior like he did with the Lamborghini um, Murcielago. Um, I hope he does a really nice colour on this, but his McLaren 7, or 675LT came out insane. Also, the biggest thing as well is he's bought a... Um, oh, what was the name of the film? I can't remember the name of the film. Need for Speed, I think it was, or whatever it was called. He's bought the frame, the tubing frame, to the uh, Lamborghini Sesto Elemento that was in it. So basically, these were all, um, you know, built cars for the actual film. I remember seeing it, oh, fuck me, it was so long ago, um, you know, watching that film. You could tell they were fake as well. But I hope to God he actually builds the same, the, the, um, the Lamborghini Sesto Elemento. It would be absolutely nuts and has it as a road legal car. I, I really cannot wait for this build. Like, Tavares, if there's anybody that's gonna do this properly, it will be Tavares. I am so excited. Let me know in the comments below what you think of these builds that he has started. Uh, how long are we gonna wait till he finishes it? And what you wanna see him do? Or what you want, do you want him to do something different with the, um, donor car from that film as well so let me know guys very very interested to hear your thoughts and opinions below next up guys is going to be rdbla oh my god they have gone away and basically this is why i love these guys so much and i found out they don't do favors for no youtubers like you like they, everybody has to pay up full i found that out like they don't do no favors for it doesn't matter how big you are for Tavares or Doug Demure or anybody like that. If you want your car done, you pay full price. So their customers, the cars that they get are insane. This Ferrari SF90 is, oh, I mean, talk about jerk off material. Oh, I mean, it's so, so nice. The wheels are sick in it. I love the concave, concave on the back wheels. It's just so mean looking, but the black, uh, it's just absolutely sick. I think the guy that's modded it will be getting a body kit on this car. I really don't know how you can make the SF90 any more better looking with a body kit. It's just unreal the way it is at the moment. Like, I just think standard with a nice set of wheels the way it is now is just sick looking. But we will wait and see. I'm presuming there's, a, there's some big companies out there that are making a kit for it. I don't know how we can get any wilder. But let me know what you think of this SF90 in the comments below, guys. Do you think the guy that owns it should go for a body kit or leave it the way it is? Comment below and do let me know. But all the links in the description below, guys, if you want to watch the videos, they're all down there. And uh, if you haven't watched it, that's what we're here to do. Show you these videos in the links in the description below. So next up on the list is going to be TJ Hunt and Evan Shanks. Now, the reason I'm putting these two together 
is because at the same time they've both put on exhaust systems on their BZRs. So, um, or BZR, BRZ, BZR, yeah. So um, basically, TJ went for the bag and full exhaust and the headers, and then Evan Shanks went for a full custom exhaust uh, build with just one exhaust tip coming out. They both sound, one sounds more raspier than the other. I'm gonna play both of them back to back and I wanna hear, I want you to, just, to let me know in the comments below which do you prefer exhaust noise. Do you like TJ Hunt's one or do you like Evan Shank's one? So here we go. <laughs> There you go guys, comment below which one would you take. For me, it has to be Evan Shanks. I really like that more deeper, uh, more modified, I don't know, there's something about it. It's just really, really nice. I love the way he's done the single exhaust sticking out as well. I just feel personally his BZR build is better than TJ Hunt's one. Now TJ Hunt's one, don't get me wrong, is, is, is pretty, pretty nice, but it's not the way I would go. The Evan Shanks one now is the one I would definitely, I love the wheels, I love the stance, I love the exhaust, the sound of the exhaust, and um, I just really like it. He's done a really, really good job on it. It just sounds really sick compared to TJ's one, but you know, that's just my opinion. That's just what I like. You tell me below in the comments, which one do you prefer? Definitely debatable, but so far I'm loving Evan Shanks' build versus TJ Hunt's, and that's very rare that I <laughs> I very I go against TJ Hunt. But look, let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. Next up is going to be Paradox Rapper. As you know, guys, I'm a big fan of rapping cars. Whenever I get settled somewhere, if it's here in the UK, in Liverpool, or wherever I end up settled in the next year where I know I'm definitely not going to be moving and I'm, I'm done, if I can get a house and start wrapping cars with a garage, I would definitely be doing it because I just love the way you can change the colours. Paradox has re-wrapped his MR2. He had an old wrap on it that was like three years old. New wrap on the car. It's a ruby red, a candy ruby red. It's really, really nice. And on the MR2, MR2s and reds are, are really nice, especially with a candy colour. And it's really pushed me towards going back to maybe getting an MR2 as a project car for the channel next year if we end up settling here. Um, I really, really like you know this color on the car. It, it, it's really sick. Let me know would you go this color on an MR2. The only thing I don't like about it is he's got, I like this, the, the lip kit he has on it, but it's like a, a faded rubbery one and it looks a bit tacky against the candy red. If he wrapped that in carbon fiber, it would just look really, really nice. The wheels are pretty nice on it as well. But yeah, let me know guys what you think of the color below. Is it a color you would go? Do you watch Paradox Wrapper? Do you wrap cars yourself? You know, and he does have a website. He does sell wrap. He's got some very interesting colors on there as well. So yeah, definitely let me know what you think of the wrap in the comments below. And last up on the list we're going to cover basically is F-Spot. F-Spot's latest videos was he got a all-inclusive paid flight trip to the former F1 in Jeddah in Saudi Arabia um, he basically documented his trip over the reason I mentioned this it was just really cool to see you know if you get big enough in YouTube some of the possibilities you can get he got a full business class with Qatar Airways uh, over from LA to Doha and then to Jeddah he was only there for two nights and went back that but when you see the vlog, the comfort he has is insane. Now, I'm not I'm not the best flyer, I'm okay, but if I had something like that, I would be pretty happy. But some of the cars that he spotted over there, we know we love Espa for an all good car spotting session. There was a sick blue 992 Turbo S there, or the 991. There was a GT, um, Porsche GT, Carrera GT there. And um, what else was there? I think there was a Chiron in it. There was a lot of sweet cars there in Saudi Arabia. You know, these oil rich countries, sick cars, but it was just nuts that he, he flew all that way ju just for that. But he got it all for free, a sick hotel, and then ended up flying back after two nights. That is a long haul. I think he did like, oh, was it like 20 hours or 23 hours in flights, you know, over like, I think 17 or 18, 20 hours over and 20 hours back. 
in the space of like you know in two nights absolutely nuts what s spot does for for the content like but if it's for free you wouldn't say no either neither would i i would definitely be on that flight as well so guys that's it for today thanks a million if you watch the end you know what to do like squad please do smash that like button again if you're new check out the videos that come up here at the end and don't forget to smash that subscribe button also uh, and tomorrow guys we are going to have a quick episode out i'm just really busy but it should be an interesting video because it's about somebody who's failed miserably at youtube and he's now done a clickbait title so that would be for tomorrow so till then guys please stay safe peace out and keep it lit